everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Buckaroo Designs. This week I am featuring the On the Farm Bundle. It is from the 2023 Stampin' Up! Mini catalog. Um, this bundle is so fun. Look how many dies there are. Lots of little animals, lots of big animals, and some farm accessories. Everything you need to, do, to use everything you need to create farm projects. Um, I have multiple projects featuring this bundle over on my blog, so make sure you hop over there and check it out. I am also using the designer series paper that is available during celebration. The dies do cut out the farm animals, which we are gonna do today. You can either stamp your farm animal or go the easy, take the easy button and just cut it out of paper. Now, I've also, I'm also using this sheet Lots of different farm patterns in here um, for you to use. I love this paper. All right. The other thing I want to point out is we're going to use the alphabet a la mode dies. I have two sets. So if you think I have a lot of letters, I do. I have two sets so I can cut out lots of letters at once. Um, we're going to use these to cut the word herd. Um, I, I like to use puns, so I made it my own herd it's your day. Um, now you could look through your stamps and think of other things that could go with herd. Heard it's your birthday. Heard you had a baby. Whatever. Um, look through your stamp, see what you want to do. I'm using another celebration stamp set called uh, Adorable Owls and this one right here, It's Your Day, which makes it really easy. Okay, let's make our box. Did I even tell you what's inside the box? Cow tails, of course. I'll have a link to these on Amazon over on my blog, so make sure you hop over there. Um, I have found cow tails many places. It's kind of an old-fashioned candy. Um, I know that Five Below has them. If you have a Five Below in your area, um, they have them in different sizes. Okay, to make our box, the first thing that you're going to need is a 7.5 inch by 6 inch piece of cherry cobbler. I'm using cherry cobbler because that's the color in our paper. Um, to find out what colors are in your designer paper, designer series paper, just flip it over and right there, you might have to get your glasses, but right there it'll tell you what the colors are. So you know exactly what cardstock, ink, whatever, embellishments to use with your paper. Okay, on the long side, we're going to score it at 3 three and a half, six and a half, and seven. Turn it and score it on the short side at half an inch, one inch, and five and a half inches. Now, if you try to scribble that down on a little post-it note somewhere on your desk, don't worry. I have a PDF over on my blog today that has the measurements for this project, as well as supply list, and two other farm projects for you. Okay, take your bone folder, burnish all those lines, all right? Now, you're gonna wanna get your scissors, and notice that we have, up here on the top, we have two lines, two half-inch line, or half-inch sections. That's the top of your box, okay? Over here, we have two half-inch sections. That's the side, that's where we're gonna put the adhesive. All right, now take your scissors, and the first thing I want you to do is cut out these squares on the end. All right, so I'm gonna start with my small scissors. So just cut those off like that. Now cut this one off as well, but this time cut in from the long side so that that flap flaps that way. All right, now come down here and cut that square off and cut that flap from the long side so that it flaps that way. I also like to cut the corners off this piece right here so that it can tuck down behind our other piece and you won't see it. Okay, now I'm gonna also, down on the bottom section, snip those score lines. Then I'm gonna turn it. I'm gonna get my bigger scissors for this. I'm gonna cut out these two long sections right here. Okay. like that. Now I'm going to switch back over to my small ones and cut out this one remaining square right here. Cut that off. Then cut in right here. So you've got a flap. The last thing that you're going to do is cut these at an angle. Now what I like to do when I'm watching a video is to pause it and look at how that paper looks now kind of as a template. So if you want to do that now, 
go right ahead. All right, I'm gonna use a variety of adhesives just for simplicity. Um, I'm gonna use tear and tape right here on that long side. And fold that over and fold that over. And if your score lines are right, they will meet perfectly right there, okay? Now fold in the bottom, do the sides and then the back. And I think I'll just stick with tear and tape. It's a skinny quarter inch wide adhesive. It's perfect for these skinny tabs. This box I believe is half an inch wide. It's not very wide at all. All right, fold that up. Now this box was designed to hold three cow tails. All right, and then you're going to fold those in, fold this down and tuck it in like that. Now we're gonna put some uh, uh, twine up here to keep, make sure that stays closed. Okay, let me grab all my pieces. We've got our designer series paper here and we're just gonna use our stamp and seal for that for the top of the box, front of the box. Then I'm gonna take that baker's twine. This is crumb cake twine and I'm just gonna wrap it around and tie that closed up here. You wanna put this on before you put your tag on because the tag will kind of sandwich this twine in and keep it where it needs to be. So when they untie the box, the twine it won't get lost. It'll stay stuck underneath the tag and they can retie it if they want. Okay, so there's your box. Now let's make our tag. So we're going to cut these letters out of craft paper. I love craft paper. Craft paper is like a thin cardboard box. That's the best way to describe it. I'm gonna take an adhesive sheet and I'm gonna put that adhesive sheet, well, let's do it the other way. I'm gonna put that adhesive sheet on one side of my craft. That's gonna turn my letters into stickers, which is gonna solve that problem of how do I glue those super skinny letters without making a giant mess. I am a horrible, messy liquid glue person, so I use it as little as possible and try to use my um, adhesive sheets. All right, so we've got that. We're also going to cut out our cow from our designer series paper and our cow has gone missing. There he is. I cut that out to remember of, that, of the DSP and we've got a die to match it. All right, let's do our letters first. I've got my exclusive Boho Blue Mini Cut and Emboss Machine. This is exclusive to those who buy the starter kit during celebration 2023. It's the only way to get it. And it's just the cutest. Our mini machines are great for crafting on the go. If you like to craft with friends or maybe while you're camping, in the car, on a road trip, not while you're driving, <laughs> while you're the passenger, this mini machine is perfect for that. And it's so pretty. It's blue. It's a it's boho blue, which is a color we don't have yet. But rumor has it, it's coming as a new color soon. All right, there we go. A cute little cow. Now, if you miss the paper, if you're watching this maybe in 2024 and you you don't have the paper, don't worry. The stamp set has the stamp. You can color it and cut it out. All right, let's get these letters out of here. Oh, good. I love when that happens. Those all just came right out. All right, now I have a scalloped stitched rectangle. And I'm going to take, before I put these on, I'm going to stamp some grass. Stamp and stamp off. Stamp and stamp off. Stamp off a couple more times like that. Just a little patch of grass for our little cow. Now, what I always say with these treats is make up five or six of them. Throw them in a drawer or a box and pull them out when it's somebody's birthday. 
Um, maybe you work in an office or school, and it's hard to keep up with everybody's birthdays. But if you find out today is Susan's birthday, you've got a little treat for her, right? Waiting to, just ready to go. All right, now what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take my letters and I'm not gonna really stick them down yet. Um, I need to see how they are gonna space out. So I'm peeling off the backing and then just kind of temporarily setting it right there. That way I can move them around. Once I have all of them there, it will be, you know, easier to move them. Um, one, the trouble I seem to have is getting them straight along the bottom. So you can get a, a straight edge, a ruler. And, okay, I think the placement, the spacing is good. So then you can get a ruler. Looks like my E needs to come down like a hair, just a hair. Right there. Okay. And once you think that they look good, there you go, just push them down. So easy. Now we're gonna just do a, a skinny little strip for this sentiment. You can stamp it on a banner if you want, but sometimes you guys, I just want it to be fast and easy. So I'm gonna stamp, ooh, that was terrible. Let's do it again. I'm gonna stamp straight up and down. I keep getting that red edge. Well, we're gonna cut it off. That's unusual, I don't usually do that. Maybe my stamp needs to be cleaned. We'll blame it on that. And then just snip, snip. All right, heard, it's your day. And then we'll take some many dimensionals. One, two, and put that right there. <laughs> Isn't that funny? I saw a card with a, a cow, not nearly as cute as a handmade card, but it was a card with a big cow's face, like right up in the camera. And it said, heard it's your birthday. And I was like, we can do that. We can make that, but it's gonna be way cuter. All right, heard it's your day. And there you got it. There you have it, you guys. All right, click the link here on YouTube. Go back to my blog, grab that free PDF. It has those measurements and the complete supply list and two other on-the-farm projects. Thanks for joining me, everybody. Bye-bye.